Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and this is going to be video number 6 of the Onshape tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a door doorstop in Onshape. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start by creating a sketch on the front plane. While holding shift, press 1 to go directly to the front plane. Press L, go to the origin, and then go to where it's the right. Make sure that the vertical constraint is applied. Click, and go back to the origin. You want to make sure this line is 6 inches long. Then go up, make sure that the that this constraint is applied, and this should be 1.1 inches long. Then go to the right, this line should be 5.7 inches long, without any vertical or horizontal constraints, and then we just want another line to connect these two points. Now press D for dimensioning. These two lines should be 82.56 inches apart, and then we want to extrude this. And to look at this extrusion better, we want to click Shift 7. We want this extrusion to be symmetric and the depth to be 1.8 inches. Now, we want to click Shift 3 to look at the back. We want to click Shift F for uh, filleting. We want to shift. We want to click both of these lines, and we want to fillet them a distance of 0 0.9 inches. If I go back to Shift 7, you can see that this created a perfect rounded edge. And then confirm. Now, start a sketch on this top plane. Click Shift 5 to go directly to the top plane. Press G. And we're going to make four corner rectangles. This one's length is going to be 5 inches. Its width is going to be 0 0.1. We're going to, and then we're, this one is going to have a length of 5.2 inches and a width of 0 0.1. This one will have a length of 5.35 inches and a width of 0 0.1. And this one is going to have a length of 5.45 inches and a length and a width of 0 0.1. Now, if any of your rectangles are over this line, like I have this one here, just click at this line and then drag it up. Now, press D for dimensioning. Dimension this line to the right line, being a distance of 0 0.043 inches apart. Do the same to every uh, line right here and though you can accidentally put on constraints and this can cause errors such as this one right here so to fix this error just look and try to figure out which constraint is being the reason so the constraint because of this is actually this vertical constraint right here so if we delete that there you go, it suddenly starts working. Now, we want to click on each of these. Now we want to go back to dimensioning, click on this line and this line, and make sure that each of these lines are 0 0.01 inches apart from each other. And then the distance between this line and that one should be 0 0.1 as well. Now, click Escape to exit out of dimensioning. Click on all of these smaller lines for each of the rectangles. And turn them all into construction lines. Then, press A for three-point arc. Click on both of these. And this arc should have a radius of 0 0.06. However, we just have to worry about one, and we need to make sure that the other ones don't snap, like we have been encouraging before. So click on each of these. Doesn't matter what length they are right now, as long as you did the f initial one to be 0 0.06. Now, you can use... I want to make sure to delete that midpoint. Now, you can use the equivalent constraint using E, and set all of these arcs to be the same exact size, which in this case will be 0 0.06. However, if the line is, if this point is above this line, it will cause this type of arc instead of the one we want. So the remedy for this is to just delete this arc, press A, and then just restart it, which is the easiest way. So, and the same would be the case for this one. And then we want 
to have another one not 0 0.06, press E for equivalent, and then make sure to constrain each of these arcs perfectly. If you haven't constrained your arc yet, you can just click and drag this point up below this line so that the constraint works as intended. Now that we have all of these line, all of these rectangles right here, we want to go to the mirror function. For the mirror line, we're going to select this center line, which is actually the front plane. And for the entities to be mirrored, we want to click on all of these lines that, that we have created. This entire sketch. You don't have to include the construction lines. Now make sure that all of them are look correct, and then complete the sketch. Now what you want to do is press Shift E, click on the sketch, and then extrude it by a value of 0 0.05. Press Enter. So then you're you're gonna have this right here. Then press Shift F for for line, and then press and then just click on all of the faces for each of these objects that we have created. Now, change the radius to be 0 0.05 inches, and then just press enter, and then go to an isometric view and look at the doorstop that you have created. We can refine this doorstop just a little bit further by clicking shift F, and then flaying all of these smaller sides by 0 0.05 to give it a more finished look. Now this was making a, a doorstop in Onshape. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.